calm down before you stress up the groove The energy a little different when the blessings accrue Hey, who you talking to? Just know I ain't no regular fool Could be anything in the world, but I can never be you I figured I would walk you guys through my prep routine because I think that might help for some of you wondering like, what is the effort to get into this? I'll show you real quick, just kind of how I pack up, what I pack up, and then I actually want to show you how I prepped my meal for tonight, which is going to be delicious. So we're going to be starting off dinner with a salad, which I will cut on site. We got fresh ingredients. It's going to be avocado and heirloom tomato. And then we got some seasonings over here. This is going to be for chicken. And what we're actually going to do is throw this on some shish kebabs. So we're pre-cutting these into shish kebab size. Throwing a little bit of yuzu on top. Then we got some teriyaki sauce. Then a little soy sauce touch of olive oil, good old salt and pepper. At this point then we just throw it into. Now in case you weren't aware, there is a little pro tip when you're using Yetis. So I put ice cubes and basically any ice packs in ahead of time. And that way when I swap in the real Yeti ice packs, it's ready to go and it's already cold. So we're fully packed and cause my dog's a diva, she gets special wet food. So what I do is basically just lay all these guys out. We've got our camping stuff, the battery backup over here. And then I basically pack my electronics every trip based on what I think I wanna need. It's always gonna have the drone and some lenses, but sometimes I switch lenses. I got my little dog bin and sleeping bag and stuff like that. So effectively the goal is to just make sure the things that I don't need throughout the week normally, I just leave them packed up, ready to go. And then everything else I will just pack ad hoc based on either the trip or if I need to use it throughout the week, obviously I need to unpack it when I get home. So up here, if you guys have seen House of a Thousand Corpses or any of those movies, it's actually where it's filmed. Windy night, folks. So you guys can probably hear the wind right now. What I'm gonna do is reposition so the hard top when I open it is gonna be facing the way the wind's coming, at least for now. That should make it a little bit quieter at night. It's gonna be one of the first nights where I actually have this much wind. So I'm actually kind of ironically excited. It might suck, but I'm curious to try it out before I'm in like extreme conditions. So you're gonna see me turn the car around right now to accomplish that. So let me show you guys a few quick upgrades I got for the dog and uh, I'm gonna get unpacked. This is new, this was only 10 bucks, but uh, should make water a little bit easier than what I was using. So instead of her previous 10 foot leash, we got a 20 footer. And actually last trip, the stake I was using broke, so we got a new camping stake, which is a little more heavy duty. So she'll have 20 feet radius to just circle around and have the time of her life. Upgrade number two, she is wearing. All right, so here's the deal, folks. It is only three o'clock right now. I, these mountains are just staring at me in the face. I'm not gonna set up camp. I think we're gonna try to get up those mountains and do a little off-roading before we set up. We may as well. It's gonna be real windy, so I think we're gonna be hanging out in the tent a lot anyway. I'm getting a little hungry, but uh, you can't have awesome, awesome mountains like this just staring you down and not try to get up them when you're in a Jeep Rubicon. It is mandatory. All right, folks, we're gonna hit some off-roading. So. We've got kind of different cameras set up for our off-road mode. We've got the GoPro recording here, and we've got our A7S3 recording out the front. This will be stabilized sweet footage, and I actually have a camera outside of the car as well as soon as we get out there. These hills look amazing, and I think we're gonna get some awesome views. Lots of sand, so uh, I don't know. In for an adventure.
right, so we're gonna try this. I'm gonna keep you guys updated on what kind of uh, grade we're on. We're on 15 right now. I'm gonna go into Fort Low so I can use my lockers. I don't think we're making it up this hill, but I can easily reverse if we uh, don't do well. So I think we're gonna try it. Let's put a rear locker on just to be safe. Might already be stuck. I had momentum and I lost it. Sand is not your friend. It's also really loose sand, so. The good news is this is technically private land, so we're cool to do this. Yeah, we're not getting anywhere. All right. Doctor, four high would have been better. I'm just gonna reverse out of here. Well, that was a lot of fun. So now we're actually gonna set up the tent and it's time to eat some food. Holding my head again. Well, that did, not, my way through crowded that did not last long, folks. Sometimes that it's hard to get out of it. All right, so we clearly got our blanket, which is so amazing if you don't have a heated blanket. But the only upgrade we really got. So this is actually a pillow. The only thing that's random, so I kept grabbing the pillows off my bed to camp. And while that works, I'm in a car, right? I've got plenty of room. This is kind of cool because it's way more tiny. When I move to Boulder in a month here anyway, I'm gonna probably want this for if I go backpacking. And uh, yeah, just safe space gives me a dedicated camp pillow and it's super tiny, so it takes up way less space than the real pillows at home. Broke my heart in the dark. I was just trying to feel something. Falling asleep to the sound of it. Always used to lay, you clean up the mess. It's down on my knees, but I couldn't stand up on my own. Turns out sometimes he's stronger alone. Bringing out the fight, yeah, bring on all the lightning Cause I'm looking for a hero, look inside the mirror I find one, oh, carry the hurt when it gets too hard Pick it up, dust it off, when I fall down 11 I get up 12, don't need nobody else Yeah, I can save myself Got burned but I learned our scars make us who we are Now I'm ten feet tall over my demons Remind me no one's got me like myself yeah. So this is from Russian River Brewing Company. You may have heard of them from Pliny the Elder or Pliny the Younger? Young? Pliny the Young? One of those. Anyway. This is aged in sherry barrels and it has cherries added to it. I think it's like a frambois, not entirely sure, but I am going to be enjoying this right now as I watch the sunset and enjoy the nice warmth of this fire. I will see you folks in the morning. Well, folks, it was another beautiful, successful journey out here. It is currently 34 degrees, so I do not want to get out of my heated blanket, but I'm going to have to. We're going to get some coffee, pack up, and then it is the first podcast day. So I'm recording a podcast with my friend Jay Dorman. Should be a fun one. We are going to do some beer and bourbon tasting as well as talk and tech. So stay tuned to that one. Guys, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that thumbs up if you like this video. It really does help. And last but not least, leave any comments in the questions below. As always, it's been a pleasure. <laughs>